Oh, we got another in here. Two more. Shit. All right, one at a time. Oh, oh no. All right, welcome back to the Beer Mug channel. Back in Seven Days to Die Runner's Series. How goes it? I realized that the Tier 1 fetch I picked up on the last episode was at Bo's Market. That's a POI I just did a couple episodes ago. I did a clear there, I think. So we're going to scratch that. Take a different quest. We'll do this... Uh, Clear zombies, 1.4 kilometers south friend, and that's that is a Sentry Outlet. Hand. Brilliant. Perfect. This kind of Sounds good. I don't recognize now. that name. All right. I want to sell a couple things. Ski goggles, leather poncho, football helmet. I do need to loot this place, but I'm not going to do it on this episode. <laughs> okay so let's look at the map so last episode i was talking about just using a prefab poi for the horde but after looking at the map looks like we've got two different towns here so i put a marker down about halfway between the two so i'm going to go down to that See what the terrain looks like, try to find a spot, and then start to build. Oh shit. Alright, we got a gas station. Marker is right here with this purple car. <laughs> I'll take that as a sign. This place was meant to be. Oh, it's a campsite. Any damn snakes here? There's a crawler. Is this your purple car crawler? Figured you'd ride out the apocalypse right next to a gas station. Sledge level two. Some murky water. Miscellaneous shit. Okay. Our next mission is down right in the heart of this town. Let's go down a little bit further. Let's check right down in that area. This looks like a good spot. 
build right up here. Small rise here. I can see well in all directions. Yep, I'm all right with this spot. So for this series, I'm going to build a ground level base which is something I haven't done since my very early days in seven days to die. I normally build uh, elevated bases, but for old times sake, we're going to do it this way. This is more dangerous than a standard like a uh, base on stilts basically. I think it'll be pretty cool. It's going to make it more interesting to defend. Oh shit, do we have a horde coming? Kind of looks like it. Alright, so this is our main base area. I'm going to build up the corner pillars on all four and build up a doorway. We'll probably put in barred windows on the sides so we can shoot. I have to deal with these damn zombies though. And I need to eat. I'm making kind of a half ass like escape area in the back of the base here. But I plan to fight the horde from the doorway mostly. I got quite a bit of cobblestone left. I upgraded all the windows to cobblestone, but now I need to upgrade all the main parts of the structure, mostly the corners and things. I also need to build an escape area up here. Entrance is kind of goofy just because the ground is uneven. But it is what it is. Shouldn't really be having to use that when I'm in a hurry ever. So I think I'll start with just upgrading this bottom layer to cobblestone. That may be all that I have enough for. Getting a lot of experience for building this. Thank you. 
All right, 2136. We're going to get inside, make sure that there is not going to be a horde. Okay, no horde. We're good. Is that a kill? I guess. Alright, well, it's far from done, but this is what I'm sitting with for the first horde. The entrance is messed up. You get stuck in these doorways. But we're set up. We've got pretty much everything reinforced with cobblestone. So I'll fight the zombies from here. This is my retreat up here. If they get through the hatches or the wall anywhere. So next time I have to set up some storage. I put down one chest right there, but I need some real storage. Alright, so since we didn't have a horde last night, I'm gonna use today to do some more mining and building. But first I'm going to run back up to the trader and get all my loot, well, as much as I can carry. Along the way, stop and harvest some things. When I get back, I'll continue to work on the base. And there's a good chance we'll see the horde tonight. No, I dare check out this damn little military tent looking place. I don't know if it's part of that or not. I don't see any landmines. Oh yeah, we got soldiers. Well, one. That's bad. Got him. Sounds like there's another. I'm waiting for meat to cook. Yeah, there is another. Oh, we got another in here. 
Two more. Shit. All right, one at a time. Oh, oh no. <laughs> it's like, shit, I can't run. My only hope is the traitor. Alright, the other three are back there. Got five skill points. Wait, is there only two more? Nope, there's three. I'm gonna have to do this one at a time. I got an unlucky shot on that one somehow. Where's the other one? Did it go back? I think the other one might have went back. Oh shit, there's another. Can't believe how many's in here. Oh, they both came. Alright, there we go. Yeah, that was cheap. I know. I don't usually do that, but with all runners and soldier zombies, that was my best option. I would have got my friggin' ass handed to me if I wouldn't have. Alright, meat's all cooked. I'm going to check this place out. Grilled meat and red tea. Oh, can I not do anything with these? Shit. I don't think I can. Can't do anything with these either. Here we go. Here's a munitions box. Oh, it's got a bunch of ammo. That made it worth it right there, I think. And can't do nothing with the truck. Okay, I need to head back. Okay, that's pretty good for our first haul. I head back, try to gather some stone and some wood on the way, and spend the rest of the afternoon working on the base. I see a deer. Oh, you see what I see? I think this is that deer I killed a while back, a couple episodes ago, but I couldn't find its body, and it was uh, nighttime, and I was trying to get to a mission. Oh, it just disappeared. Son of a bitch. That's what I get. I should have looked harder. Oh, shit. I 
I was totally zoned out, chopping on that rock. Freaking, <laughs> like, am I here and walking right now, like, right next to me? There's another honey. Oh, I'm still close. I'm going to hit the trader and get some food and water. Well, you're a sight for sore eyes. Take that as well. Craft 200 cobblestone. That'll be enough to upgrade 20 blocks. Also need to craft some building blocks. We'll do 50. Got skill points to spend also. I need to remember, I might as well spend them now. Might be able to have something that uh, helps me run. Let's see, let's do one into minor 69er, which increases tool damage and it reduces stamina costs of tools. All right, we're gonna put one into the advanced engineering. I'm gonna put one into gunslinger, that's good for handguns. And I'll put the other two into just strength and agility. Just the basic tiers themselves. Okay, here we are. I'm gonna put these things into the fire. Alright, so the other thing I want to do is put up a walkway here. My storage chest is going to mess it up right there, but that's okay. I just want something a little extra. If I do need to walk around up there, fight. Okay, here we go. I do have the uh, the Blood Moon set to no warning, so it is actually going to be a Blood Moon. We'll see what happens. I don't know if I've seen that before. Okay, it is not. <laughs> so the Blood Moon is definitely tomorrow night, day 8. Which means I have the night tonight to just uh, work on the base. I guess I'll do some more gathering of resources. One thing I want to do is knock down this damn walkway so it's not so awkward. Is that a deer? A deer over there. There we go. See, that's better. Yeah, I'm just making like a, a flat hallway and entrance on either side of this. Just so it's not so awkward. It's gonna look shitty, but it will function better. Oh, there's another deer. What the shit? Is he taunting me? 
<laughs> Somehow I just went over my damn. Just went over my damn hatch. There we go. Yeah, I picked a good spot for the base. Got lots of animals here. Alright, that's where we're going to call it for this episode. Next episode is definitely going to be the Horde. And I think I've got time on the next one. I should be able to knock out this clear mission also. So it's going to be a good one. What the shit is that? That's dogs. Man, I'm lucky. Make sure these hatches are up. Okay. <laughs> Alright. We're going to have to deal with this right now. But yeah, anyway. This is what we're calling it for this episode. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And I will see you soon.